Hi, I'm Luke and in this video we're going to learn how to do two things in VXT. First, we'll learn how to divert phone calls from our personal direct line to another phone number. Then we'll also learn how to manage call flows, which is a little bit more complicated and not required for everyone. So let's get started. To divert incoming phone calls from our personal direct line to another phone number, we're going to look for the settings tab in the bottom left hand corner of our screen. We'll click on settings, then phone numbers. On the phone numbers tab, we can see all of the phone numbers that are currently assigned to us. I just have one personal direct line. I'll click on my direct line and now I can see the phone settings for this phone number. To divert my calls, I want to find the calls part of phone settings. So I'll look over here on the left hand side and click on calls. At the top of this page, we can see an, our incoming call action. I can see that my phone is currently set to ring assignees. Because it's my direct line, I know that I'm the only assignee, so that just means it's gonna ring me. To change this and divert my phone calls to someone else, I'm gonna click on the edit button in the top right hand corner. Now I'm changing the incoming call action. I'll click on ring assignees and I'll select another option. Here I can see a range of options that I can turn on. I could divert my incoming calls to another phone number, send those calls straight to voicemail, or use some of the custom call flows that my business has created in VXT. If you stick around for the second part of this video, we'll learn more about custom call flows then. To divert my phone calls to another phone number, I'll click on divert to phone number. Now I'm going to enter the phone number I want to divert my calls to. Once I'm happy that that's the right number, I can activate this change. If I wanted to divert my calls temporarily because I'm going on holiday for a few days, I could click on the activate temporarily button and set this change to only last for a specific period of time. Unfortunately, I'm not going on holiday today, so I won't worry about that. I'm just going to activate. Now, my calls are being diverted to the phone number that I specified. If I wanted to stop diverting my calls, I'm gonna come back in here and click on the edit button again. I'll change it back to the way it was before. So, that's how to divert your phone calls in VXT. If you came to this video just to learn how to divert calls to your direct line, you can stop watching now. If you want to learn about how to manage your call flows, keep watching. To manage call flows in VXT, we're going to click on the Call Flow Builder. In VXT, Call flows are either shared with everyone on your team or saved against a specific phone number. Here I can see I already have a few custom call flows that are saved against my phone number up the top and a few call flows that are shared with my whole team that maybe some of my other team members have created. If I wanted to use one of these existing call flows, I could hover over the three dots on the right hand side of any of these call flows and click. And then just like we saw before while diverting our number, we could activate the call flow or activate it temporarily. As I mentioned earlier, we can also activate these call flows from the calls page by clicking edit and selecting one of our custom call flows from this list. These call flows here are the same ones that we saw on the other page just a second ago. 
So we can edit these cool flows by clicking on them. But today we're going to create a brand new cool flow by clicking the add cool flow button in the top right hand corner. When we're creating a new cool flow, we'll start from scratch by clicking on the plus button to add an action to our cool flow. We can hit plus and then pick any of these actions here in this list. If we're not quite sure what these actions do, we can hover over them and see this description on the right hand side that describes exactly how they each work. I'm going to start off using a schedule because I want different things to happen inside of my business hours and outside of my business hours. I'll click schedule. To select my business hours, I'll click on the configure. 9am to 5pm looks good to me. I'll click done. Inside of hours, I'll add another action by hitting the plus button. This time, Inside of my hours, I want it to ring me. So we can look for the ring action. There's ring users right here. So let's click ring users. Just like we configured the schedule action, this time we're gonna configure the ring users action. So we'll select the users. We want this call flow to ring. This is just my phone, so I can just hit assigned users. That looks good to me. If I don't answer the call, I'll do something else. We'll hit plus, and if I don't answer, we'll send the call to voicemail. Similarly, if we go back up to schedule, outside of hours, we'll do something different. I don't really want to take calls out of hours, so I'll hit the plus button. Here, I could just hit send to voicemail. So outside of hours, it goes straight to voicemail. To make my call flow look a little bit simpler, I can delete this send to voicemail box by clicking the menu, delete. I'll hit plus again on outside hours, connect, and then I'll connect outside of hours to send to voicemail. So now, if a call comes in outside of hours, I can see that it goes straight to voicemail. Inside hours, it will ring me first, and if I don't answer, it will then go to voicemail. Awesome. Now that's great, but what if I want to make a change to this call flow? To change this call flow, I could delete the actions that we've already created, or for instance, I could add some extra steps. So perhaps I want something to happen before it rings me inside of hours. If I want something to happen before it rings me, I'll look at inside hours. There's a little plus button there. I'll click on insert action. Let's play a clip. So now, Inside hours, it'll play a message, some audio, and then it will ring me after that has played. Let's select the audio that it plays. I won't record a new message this time, I'm just going to select an existing one and hit done. I'm happy with this call flow now, so I'll give it a name in the top right hand corner. I can decide whether or not I want to share this with my team so that they can use it as well, or leave it unshared so it's just my call flow, then I'll hit save. This time I did not share this call flow with my team, so it's appeared here under the call flows that are associated with my direct phone number. If I changed my mind and I want to share this call flow with my team, I can come in here after the fact, hover over the menu and click make available to team. Now, the call flow that we just created is shared with everyone else in my company. Again, I'm going to activate this call flow 
by hitting the menu and activating it. As you can imagine, there is a whole lot more that you can do with the Call Flow Builder in VXT. This video is just a quick introduction. If you're an administrator, you'll find the Call Flow Builder in other areas of VXT. So let's go and take a look to see if we can find it. We'll jump out of here. We'll go into the bottom left-hand corner of our screen and click on Admin. Here, on the Admin tab, I can go to the Call Flow Builder a few different ways. If I click Call Flow Builder in the Admin tab, I'll see all of the call flows in my whole company. I'll see the call flows that are shared with everyone and then individually the call flows against every phone number. Looks like Chelsea has quite a few. I've got the two that we could see on my direct line earlier and we have a bunch more across the different phones in our company. We could edit all of these call flows and manage them in the same way that we did earlier when we were looking at the call flow builder on my direct phone. We can also find the call flow builder on the phone numbers tab. If I click on one of my colleagues phones, here's Shah's phone for example, I can see the same phone settings that I was looking at earlier for my phone but now I'm looking at Shah's phone. Managing call flows in VXT is probably the most complicated thing you can do in our product. So don't be concerned if you don't feel quite confident using call flows quite yet. And if you have any questions, please reach out to our team. Thanks a lot.